hello everybody welcome to Parkinson's on the move today we're going to talk about walking seemingly something we do every day and until we got diagnosed with Parkinson's we probably never thought of it well with Parkinson's we have to think about it all the time like everyone else I have gait imbalance and those are the first symptoms I had of Parkinson's something wasn't right with my walking and it took me quite a while to figure out how to get back to normal rhythms of just simple act of walking. Well, oddly enough, it is possible. It is quite simple. And we will demonstrate it today. Please observe. This is my normal gait. The way I feel today, the way I feel right now. This is after 10 years of living with Parkinson's. This is me just walking. You probably noticed the stiffness on my right side. This is predominantly where I have my Parkinson's. Right arm and the right leg are a little bit slow. But look what happens if I use a simple tennis ball. Thank you. So I'll bounce the ball as I walk. One, two, three, one, two, three. It's like a waltz. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. If you notice or not, maybe you have to look at it again. My right arm is no longer shaking when I walk. And my right leg is not as affected by Parkinson's. Why is that? Well, I guarantee you, you can ask 10 doctors, 100 people, and no one will give you a straight answer. Do I have an answer? No. So in my uh, discovery, trying to figure out how to get my gait back to normal. I started tossing the ball just back and forth as I walk, just like this. So you pay attention to the ball, you're no longer paying attention to your legs. And all of a sudden your legs get in line and they walk more or less normally. It doesn't take any practice. You may practice this first, it's not very difficult. Keep an eye on the ball and I can even walk backwards. and I can walk forward. This improves your gait dramatically. Because I'm focusing strictly on the ball, I cannot think about anything else. So what do you do if you're out walking you're trying to get your exercise for the day and your leg, one leg, both legs, lock up. You literally can't move it or it moves so slowly that you're shuffling your leg. Well, there is something you can do. It's called skipping. I'll demonstrate. My right leg is a little locked up today, but if I just skip, it's effortless. I don't feel any imbalance. And I can go back. So this was the skipping. Fairly simple, fairly routine, and probably you will find it natural to do. Give it a try. You will be amazed at how much better your legs are working when you're just skipping. Another way to just basically exercise and do some kind of cardio or running is to do this. For some reason, our brain has no problem with this. Now, it may be illegal in some states, but try it. It does feel more natural. It's almost as if by magic, the limping, the imbalance gait just vanishes. Of course, all of our suggestions stem from the fact that you have to have your strength. We can't emphasize it enough. We say it on our website. We say it throughout our workouts and our individual exercises. Strength is the key to being better, to living better, to feeling better. So don't forget, we can skip, we can hop, we can juggle, we can do all sorts of things, but we really need strength. 